What's up guys? So today we're gonna go and change the oil on my car, including the oil filter right here. Uh, I've got a Mercedes SLK 200 from 1999 right here. Um, the change in your car might be a little bit different, but in principle all the same. So I don't have any industrial type jack stands here. Um, so what we're gonna do, because the, the actual drive on bridges I have, which you can see over there, they don't fit, the bumper scrapes them. So I'll just damage the car. So what I've done here, I've put the one wheel on the curb. Uh, we jacked it up over here, like so. Uh, put some safety on the wheel. And then I'll just get under there and unscrew the uh, protection plastic plate and the sun plug to just drain the oil out. Right. This is going to be dark and tight, but let's do it. So you see these four screws over there? They come from straight. Underneath here, uh, there's this little protection plate, which is right there. Well, it's for aerodynamics, it's for debris, stones, it protects against rust. It's actually not a bad idea, but it's a pain in the ass to get out and it uh, blocks my sun plug. So now that we have the sun plug free, I'm going to get down under there and try to get this going. Okay, so I've got my sun plug there. In my case, that's a uh, 13, so I've got a little canister. I hope that's enough or I'm going to make a mess. So let's see here, I don't need an angle or something. No, that fits pretty okay. So I'm going to try and get this loosened up. And this might be really tight. Maybe I'll need a breaker bar. Okay, I'm going to try and get this loose and let's see how we go. So this sun plug is in there really tight. I'm gonna use this vacuum cleaner pipe as a sort of breaker bar. Now, it's a bit unorthodox, but actually I managed to get it loose. So now you can see it's nice and loose. Well, you couldn't see, now you can see. So the rest of that, I can get under there and do my hand. So I've opened the hood a little bit to get some better light. But so here we go, there's my uh, ratchet, and the sun plug is coming loose now. Let's see, can I turn that by hand? Yes I can, and we should have something soon. Screwing loose, screwing loose. I hope I don't miss, because that's going to get real messy. Well, this is a pretty long sun plug. Ah, uh, there you go. Look at that. Woo! That's great, guys. So, I'm going to let that flow out. I've opened the top of the oil reservoir and just taken the lid out. Uh, in a second, I'm going to change the crush washer. I'll show you how to do that. And uh, I'll just let this drain, and then we'll come back. Okay, so what the hell. So, second time today I changed the oil and there's no crush washer on that thing. Luckily this kit comes with a new one right there. So I'm gonna mount that. Uh, and then once the oil is drained, we'll put the sun plug back in. Uh, we can see we're looking pretty good here. My canister is almost full. We're still dripping a little bit, so I'm gonna let that run. Um, then I'm gonna screw this back in. Now, this old oil, of course, guys, you wanna recycle that. Um, something I like to do, uh, the, the undersides of a car, if you have a bridge or something better than what I've got right now, you can actually brush the oil into some old rusty parts. It's kind of like WD-40, protects them a little bit. Um, you can also just, of course, spray WD-40 on the whole thing and then, hey presto, you know, there you go. Uh, but this is definitely something that can work in just protecting your, your car with its rusty bits. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to let this drain out. I've got my crush washer right here, and I'm going to just put that in, hand tighten it, and then uh, I'm going to just tighten that a little bit more with the uh, ratchet. Make sure you don't tighten that too much, otherwise you'll break the crush washer and you'll run the risk of leaks. Um, and then of course I'm going to try to dispose of this oil right here. Now, once we've done that, I'll take you back to the upside where we'll do the filter, and then of course we'll start refilling with fresh oil. All right, I got this old stuff out. Look at this. This is all thick, 
black and disgusting. Ugh. Man, don't know how long ago this was changed, but really glad we did that. So before I actually put the oil filter in, I need to get that underplate back, which is going to be a pain in the ass. So let me do that and I'll get back to you. So we're ready now to take the old filter out. Um, I've put a towel here just next to the filter because it will leak a little bit. I've prepared the tool to get it out and we have some paper towels around here because the filter is going to be dripping with oil and you want to actually be putting that into the filter as you take that out. So what we do, we, we attach the tool up here and then we want to loosen the filter up like this and there you go, starting to screw out like so starting to get quite loose now so I think I can screw this by hand so let me just take this tool out there you go and let's see what happens here if I take it by hand yeah it's turning 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 so you just turn that completely loose until you have the filter in your hand it's still taking a while there All right, so this is nice and loose now. So you can see this filter is completely, completely black. So I've got the filter here over the bucket because uh, it's really dripping a lot. But you can see this is completely black and needs to go. So I'm gonna take this out and then we'll get a new filter. So that's a new filter right here. This side goes down, you can see it connects into that little hole there. So what we'll do, we'll Push that on here, like so. Should fit nice and snug. There you go. Uh, unfortunately, we can't prime this filter because it's upside down. Normally, what I like to do is fill up the filter with some fresh oil and then put that back in the engine bay. Uh, the, the cap has a sealant ring, which was supplied with the filter. We've put some oil on this one, and then we're gonna place that up here. So, just tighten that up. And what you do want to do is make that hand tight. Now, because I've got really oily gloves, uh, I'm going to go and get the tool and actually tighten that up a little bit more. But like really hand tight should be enough for a filter. Okay. All right, and here we are. The oil filter is nice and snug back in there. You can see I made a little bit of a mess there. So let's clean all this up, get all the oil off, you know, give it a nice good wipe down before we finalize everything. Awesome, there you go. Um, so I'm gonna prepare to fill up the engine bay didn't have a uh, funnel So I just made an impromptu one from a bottle you just cut off the top and you can use that make sure it's clean You don't want any debris in there and then uh, I've removed my uh, <laughs> Dipstick for now. I was gonna call it the dipshit, but uh, it's very tempting now We'll fill that up get that to the correct level. We want that halfway Maybe a bit less because the oil is cold now. It will expand and uh, this takes five and a half liters, so I have my oil right here. I'm gonna fill this up now, and then I'm gonna go have myself a beer. So, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you wanna see more content, just let me know, leave a comment, do whatever you like. Peace out.